Profesa Abraham Githure Kindiki, EGH Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Interior and National Administration to take his oath of office. Welcome, Waziri. I, Kithure Kindiki, being appointed a cabinet secretary, do swear of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful, a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, permit me to now invite the Honorable Rosalinda Soipan Tuya, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Defense. Rosalinda Soipan Tuya, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the, of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to the secrecy except, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary 
and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. With Your Excellency's kind favor, I now call upon the Honorable John Buddy Ngongo, EGH, <laughs> Cabinet Secretary for National Treasury and Economic Planning. I, John Buddy Ngongo, being appointed a cabinet secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, I now invite the Honorable Justin Bedan Muthuri, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Public Service and Human Capital Development. I Justin Bidan Joka Muturi, being appointed in the Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, to swear that I will at all times be 
faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. With your Excellency's gracious permission, I now invite the Honorable Arden Barry Dwale, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Environment, Climate Change and Forestry. I Aden Duale, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, and that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties uncommitted to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office consciously and, the, and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Sir, allow me to invite the Honorable Alice Wahome, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Lands, Public Works, Housing and Urban Development. Alice Mudoni Wahome, being appointed a cabinet secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, I now invite Mr. Julius Migos Ogamba, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Education. I, Julius Migos Ogamba, being appointed a cabinet secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity. And I will be a true faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. And I'll not divulge directly or indirectly such matters I shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I'll perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Sir, permit me to invite Mr. Davis Kimutai Kirchir, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Roads and Transport. I, Davis Kimutai Chirchir, being appointed as Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people, of, uh, the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Office of Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to uphold to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya. That I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I'll perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. With Your Excellency's kind consideration, I now invite Ms. Rebecca Miano, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Tourism and Wildlife. Rebecca Miano, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the Office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed 
to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, permit me to invite the Honorable Hassan Ali Joho, EGH Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Mining, Blue Economy and Maritime Affairs. I, Hassan Ali Joho, being appointed the Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all laws of the Republic of Kenya, that I will well and truly serve the people of the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary, that I will undertake to uphold my office as Cabinet Secretary in honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties, and that committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary and that I, sh I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, I now invite the Honorable Dr. Alfred Nganga Mutua, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Labor and Social Protection.
I, Alfred Nganga Mutua, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, permit me to invite Mr. Eric Muridi Muga, Cabinet Secretary, <laughs> Ministry of Water, Sanitation and Irrigation. I, Eric Murevi Muga, being appointed a cabinet secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truth truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the cabinet secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the, due dil for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, and, th and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, I now invite the Honorable Salim Vuria Mugala, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Investments, Trade and Industry. I, Salim Vuria Mgala, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, permit me now to invite Dr. Deborah Blongo Barasam, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Health. I, Deborah Mlongo Barasa, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people, of, the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God.
Your Excellency, I now invite the Honorable Onesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Youth Affairs, Creative Economy and Sports. Nesmas Kipchumba Murkomen, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people, of, people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the aff public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy, except as may required may be required for the due discharge of my duties as a cabinet secretary. And I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, permit me to invite the Honorable James Opio Wandai, EGH, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Energy and Petroleum. James Opio Wandai, being appointed a cabinet secretary of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of cabinet secretary and and that I undertake to hold my office as cabinet secretary with honor and dignity, that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the president for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as cabinet secretary, and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best 
of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, I now invite Dr. Margaret Nyambura Ndungu, PhD, Cabinet Secretary, Minister of Information, Communication, and the Digital Economy. I, Margaret Nyambura Ndungu, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity, that I'll be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and committed to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary and that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me, God. So, Your Excellency, permit me to invite the Honorable Wycliffe Ambersa Obaranya, EGH.
Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Cooperatives and Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development. I, Wycliffe and Letza of Paranya, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya to swear that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, respect of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, that I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic of Kenya in the office of Cabinet Secretary that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not divulge directly or indirectly such a matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and commitment, committed to, to my secrecy except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Captain Secretary and that I will perform the function of my office conscientiously and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Sir, I now invite Dr. Andrew Muhia Karanja, PhD, Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Agriculture and Livestock Development. I, Andrew Muhia Karanja, being appointed a Cabinet Secretary of Kenya, do swear that I, will, uh, that I will at all times be faithful to the Republic of Kenya, that I will obey, respect, and uphold this Constitution of Kenya and all other laws of the Republic, and I will well and truly serve the people and the Republic, and the Republic of Kenya in the office of the Cabinet Secretary, that I undertake to hold my office as Cabinet Secretary with honor and dignity and that I will be a true and faithful counselor to the President for the good management of the Republic, for the public affairs of the Republic of Kenya, that I will not diverge directly or indirectly such matters as shall come to my knowledge in the discharge of my duties and, and committed to my secrecy, except as may be required for the due discharge of my duties as Cabinet Secretary, that I will perform the functions of my office conscientiously 
and to the best of my ability. So help me God. Your Excellency, with the administration's second cabinet now officially in office, it is both my distinct honor and privilege to invite you to convey your felicitations to the cabinet secretaries who have assumed office today and thereafter to address the nation. Ladies and gentlemen, may we all arise in honor as we welcome His Excellency the President. I thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you very much. Let's take our seats. <clears throat> Let me take this opportunity, first and foremost, to congratulate Cabinet Secretaries whom I nominated and have been approved by Parliament and subsequently I appointed and today they have taken their oath of office. Congratulations ladies and gentlemen. Our nation has emerged from a period of immense struggle caused by a fundamental misunderstanding about the ways and means of accomplishing what we all agree are our shared aspirations as a people, and that is a governance that delivers security and prosperity inclusively and sustainably. It is true, and I freely admit, that due to suboptimal communication of our development agenda and a feeling of insufficient public engagement, we have lost many opportunities to walk the journey of transforming Kenya with everyone aboard, leaving some citizens unable to connect with the policies, programs, and projects that have been rolled out throughout our country. At the same time, many public officials have fallen short of constitutional standard for public officers as laid out in Article 10, Chapter 6, and Chapter 12 of the Constitution of Kenya, which makes it clear that we, as public servants and officers, are the servants of the people, and that the totality of our actions and conduct must reflect this fundamental principle and the highest standard of integrity required of public.